If um, Nicholas uh, Zenstrom in uh, RAN going for a third win in a row under IRC, that's uh, never been done before. And uh, Bellamente, the big threat there. There's the first come for the uh, Canting Kills in Class Z. Bellamente just going backwards, the crew holding that huge boom out to windward so they can sail the boat backwards and just make sure that any weed that was on the keel has fallen off. They're all prepared in their foul weather gear and uh, ready to sail in any conditions. They've got uh, all, pretty much all of them wearing just their foul weather gear trousers and then uh, a lot of them, in fact all of them wearing life jackets uh, these spinlock life jacket harnesses at Fath on the back of his boat and uh, they won a prize yesterday at the prize giving and then they actually won a newcomer's prize which was a beautiful silver model of a yacht but they'd gone by then which was a bit of a shame they should have collected it but Bellamente's head's all going up fast as you like just stop for a moment as it now calling it up again as the bowman just says yes up it goes and there it is right at the top SCA storming along now in the breeze they've just borne away the girls' boat, the pink and black sails of the girls' boat there, storming away down the line towards the Royal Yacht Squadron. Esmit Europa staying well away from the line. Ran, which is going to probably race neck and neck with uh, Bellamente around there. Nicholas Zenstrom trying for a third win, but uh, Bellamente, Hapfath, doing everything he can to uh, stop that happening, and these two are going to have a great battle. Behind... Uh, them is uh, Abu Dhabi. Now during the uh, during Cows Weeks Class Zero racing, Abu Dhabi actually split the two Mini Maxis on the water, which was quite a feat. Didn't do much on handicap, it has to be said, but uh, uh, to get between the two Mini Maxis uh, with this big uh, Volvo 70 was quite something. The uh, Maxis just a couple of feet longer, more sail, higher rigs, very much more inshore orientated sailing boats than uh, off round Cape Horn but uh, Ian Walker and his boys there all dressed in their yellow gear some of them even got uh, dry suits on I know it's on earth that was the zip of a dry suit it's not it's the curve of the carbon fiber wheel so Bellamente getting ready her orange sails with their uh, black uh, sorry black sails with the orange draft stripes Abu Dhabi with that falcon on the sail Etihad uh, the sponsors crank the uh, canty kill cranked out to windward. The boat is healing to windward at the moment. Ran turns away from the line, turns away from Bellamente. They don't want to play at the moment. And uh, Esmit uh, Europa, the uh, huge blue boat, getting ready for its start with uh, just over seven minutes to go, but. Uh, just really creaming along now and uh, they're winding up this start is going to be fantastic yeah and ICAP Leopard and Esmit Europa they've also got their own little battle the 200 footers they're going to uh, slog it out there's also a battle going on between uh, some of the uh, the Swan 60s there's three of them at least here I think uh, the Swan 60s will be uh, racing their own little battle so Abu Dhabi ahead of us Bellamente coming down towards the Royal Yacht Squadron. Coming up the other way is um, what have we got? Where well, I've lost Ran. Ran's gone round behind me. Ran's down on the mainland side. There's a big creaking noise as Abu Dhabi. So her bow seems to throw spray incredibly. She's just pushing spray right up over the bow, even uh, going along at uh, just about what about seven or eight knots. But uh, obviously a very full bow pushing up the spray. To win. So we've got 15 seconds before the preparatory signal, the four minute signal for this incredible Class Z and uh, Canting Keel class. Ran Nicholas Zenstrom, uh, the JV72, getting ready for its start. Four minutes to four go. Minutes and uh, yes, uh, Beautiful Volick 72 and the uh, Bellamente is a sort of slightly newer version of that uh, same design. So. These two really uh, like to fight it out. Bellamente, right down by Cows Roads, uh, Black Sails, the Orange Stripes. Uh, we've also got Artemis, the Open uh, 60 in there, Canting Keel class, and she's next to the girls' boat uh, SCA. 
Yes, with the uh, pink hull and uh, pink trim to the uh, black sail, but uh, three minutes and 20 seconds now to go until the uh, joint start of Class Zero and the uh, canting keel start. And uh, these conditions, which, which boats do you think will uh, do better in these conditions? Oh, the 100 footers. <laughs> You can imagine that Esmit Europa will be, she'll be going for the Monohull line honours record, and or certainly getting the Monohull line honours, and uh, she'll be doing better against uh, ICAP Leopard because Leopard has got a much more comfortable interior. Um, the uh, Esmit Europa is really a stripped out racer. Helicopters all over us here. We have uh, Ran. Just manoeuvring down near the start, secret men's business is uh, right up at the pin end. There's a definite uh, split of opinion here between the group yeah. down with you, Simon, and the ones up with us. Absolutely, and uh, we've got uh, GBR 528 uh, down here, um, and uh, a couple of others, but uh, that's Pace. And uh, I think one of the Russian Volvo boats is down here too. Belamente heading back up towards you as is the uh, white sail of uh, one of the uh, Dutch boats, uh, Team Heine on. Just, uh, just coming up to two minutes to the start. Looks like Bellamente coming back up towards us. SCA and Artemis also coming in. ICAP Leopard with uh, Mike Slade on the helm is um, just coming down the line towards the squadron, her blue, metallic blue hull. Yeah, quite obvious, an ICAP on the sails. Big Spanish boat, plus play. Massive Great Swan. And she's just coming down with very few people on board. Very clean teak deck. SCA, Canty Keel boat, right, the Canty Keel right out, the boat upright, driving along very nicely at about eight knots. Uh, we've got 15 knots of wind here at the moment as we wait. We've got 30 seconds before the one minute signal. Team Jolica. Uh, from France, they're here with their red and white hull. Ran wants that pin in. Ran has come back to the pin end. She wants that end. She's decided to come right up there. The girls also coming up there, just counting down the last minute moments to the uh, one minute signal. But Ran hovering there, right on the pin end. That's what she wants. She wants to stay up there. With the secret men's business is there too. Rangeliti is also there. SCA now turns back towards the squadron. And you've got a, quite a group down there, Simon. Yes, the uh, Russian uh, boat, uh, Russia 1, is uh, here. Monster Project Team Russia with uh, the uh, cream-coloured sails just reaching up the line. But what a sight as uh, the uh, big boats, uh, Abu Dhabi and the others, just piling into the rock line now. Pace, and one of the uh, Gazprom uh, boats as well. It's just a fantastic sight on the squadron line for the Rolex Fastnet Race 2013. Uh, it's really nice. Just counting the last uh, 15 seconds to the start. Uh, 10 seconds now. Ran has gone for that uh, that pin end start. They are right there and going as fast as they can. Uh, they are not quite on the line. All clear. The SGM. Oh no, individual no, it's an recall. Individual recall. Somebody was over. Was it secret men's business, uh, or was it somebody down with you? Now, Ran is really piling on the coals. She's uh, the grinders on the pedestals, cranking in the main and the head saw. Uh, she just heels right towards us in the sunshine. So Ran offshore, really doing well. The crew back getting back on the top. But who's leading down there, Simon? Well, the, uh, it, the very good start for Abu Dhabi and uh, the Gazprom uh, 2460. They've uh, had a good start too. And uh, I may have been one of the other Russian boats that was on uh, course side, but uh, uh, Brunersek and uh, Abu Dhabi with great starts here. The black sails of uh, Abu Dhabi. And uh, then we have uh, further up the line, Ezimit Europa and uh, Toe in the Water. Um, usually a big boat, but uh, the smallest boat it looks like in this particular start. Yeah, Rand's just tacking. You can probably hear the noises as uh, she goes through the first tack very quickly. And Jeremy Robinson just uh, ran down to get the uh, runners on, and she came through the wind beautifully, just flicked through, as you'd expect for a boat as professional as this. But it's ran right on the island side. They obviously, on the mainland side, they want that. That's where they're going. They've decided that's going to be their plan. Jeremy Robinson uh, calling the shots. I'm not sure. I think, um, I can't remember who was navigating, but uh, 
uh, they have a very experienced team and they're going to be looking to beat Hapfath's Bellamente and Hapfath has got entirely the opposite view. He's right down there with the black sails with the orange stripes on and Bellamente coming right into the island shore. Abu Dhabi's had to go around the stern of uh, Ezimit Europa, the uh, huge blue Gazprom sail there. Uh, just uh, going, and they tack too, so Abu Dhabi uh, round the stern of uh, Ezimit Europa. As you predicted, they're doing very well indeed. Well, it's the biggest, fastest boat, and uh, you'd expect Ezimit Europa 2 to uh, come out on top. She's uh, 30 foot longer than some of the others in that fleet. Yeah, and they're just imagine it. They're going to get round the front of ICAP Leopard as this uh, tacking battle now develops as they head off into the Western Solent to the Needles, to the Lizard, to Land's End, and to the Fastnet Rock, and back to uh, Plymouth. But this is the spectacle in the sunshine, in the Solent, the start of the uh, Fastnet race with Esmit Europa, the uh, huge blue sails there, getting out in front of the other Maxis and the big bows here. Now, I'm quite surprised, looking at Ran, I don't think they've done very well out of that start at all. They are heading right to the mainland, but if you look where um, Bellamente is, uh, she's got a big advantage to win with there. Bellamente and Abu Dhabi side by side. Ezimit Europa with her blue hull and blue sails is uh, stepping out as you would imagine. You realize it, that that boat is, uh, the extra length of that boat uh, over others in this fleet is as much as the smallest boat that's actually racing <laughs> in the fastest race. She's got more than 30 feet over some of these others in class Z. Uh, but she's going to be the one that uh, goes down the sole of the fastest. I don't think that was a good plan. I don't know. I could be wrong. But from where I'm, where I am, the perfect tactician, of course, that I am out here, um, I don't think Ran has done particularly well. But Ran right. now, Gazprom, uh, rather, is my Europa tax. Yep. So does ICAP Leopard. So does... Uh, Bellamente and Abu Dhabi as well, so they're all tacking 10, into the 11, shore. 12, 13 people on the rail, I make it, on <laughs> Esimit Europa Gazprom there, as they have uh, tacked, and uh, they really are screaming along there as the uh, ribs and the motorboats and the spectator boats whiz in and out, and away go the uh, big boats, away from cows, and uh, down the uh, western Solent. Um, and off on their uh, Fastnet race. It'll be fascinating to see what sort of times they can do in these uh, conditions. Of course, here on Fastnet Radio, uh, we will keep you up to date. Uh, 87.9 FM in Plymouth and uh, fastnetradio.co.uk. Also, do check out the uh, Royal Ocean Racing Club Fastnet site with uh, more uh, video pictures too as the race uh, progresses. There'll be postings, there'll be interviews, and of course then the finishers in Plymouth when uh, we all come back together uh, with the uh, commentary here on Fastnet Radio. But uh, the tacking battle, Abu Dhabi and Bellamente with the uh, distinctive orange stripes on its sails, taking uh, the bow there of Abu Dhabi. Gazprom heading past uh, Egypt Point now and uh, out towards the uh, west and a lovely uh, sight for everybody here in Cowes and indeed people watching online. Yeah, it's really good that they uh, the last start at least was close in, so the spectators on the green uh, were able to see that, and there are quite a lot of people down there. ICAP uh, Leopard just comes across in front of us, towering up there, that great probing bowsprit in front, the streamlined deck house of uh, Mike Slade's uh, well-travelled I Cap Leopard. He's had her for a few years now and he's been all over the place. And Mike, Mike uh, standing at the wheel in his uh, white cap. The boat that always surprises me is this boat of Ian Walker's, this uh, uh, Open 70, the Volvo Open 70 Abu Dhabi. I thought when I saw her in the last Fastnet race, she would actually come out really well in the Volvo, but she didn't do terribly well there. But uh, sometimes she surprises everybody. She's a, a big boat and designed for sailing round the world, but um, she is doing very well amongst the inshore racers. Esmit Europa 2 goes right into Gurnard in front of the Gurnard Sailing Club, so uh, uh, she's just tacking now in front of the Gurnard Sailing Club as, uh, as Abu Dhabi tacks as well. She's tacked an SCA tack off the other way, the girls' boat uh, with their pink hull tacks off the other way. 
and Abu Dhabi tacks into the shore. Behind us, we've got uh, all sorts of things. There's Pace there, the TP52. SCA is the all-female team, of course, with an um, international team of uh, female racers there, including Sam Davis and Annie Lush from uh, the UK. Yeah, and uh, interesting to see how Bellamente has caught up with Esmit Europa. Now, Bellamente was uh, sailed right into the shore at Gernard, and she's come out now. Admittedly, um, Esmit Europa 2 is further to windward, but uh, Bellamente is really winding it up now. She's actually more or less pegging uh, Esmit Europa for speed, which is quite incredible. There's, uh, there's 28 feet length difference, and going to win with length matters. Uh, but uh, Bellamente is really powering on. She is going great guns. We've got nearly 15 knots, over 15 knots of wind here, and with the apparent wind speed, we we're up to about 20 knots, a bit more than that. So Bellamente just tacking inshore again. She's uh, almost covering Abu Dhabi, but Bellamente tacks. She's going like a rocket. She Five, really six, is. Six guys uh, over the rail on uh, Abu Dhabi with uh, the orange trim there, the fluorescent orange trim. You can see down into the uh, Solent waters there uh, some of what's going on beneath, the, beneath these uh, racing boats. But uh, the bow wave, as you say, just splashing all the crew on uh, Abu Dhabi as they head off on uh, that chase. A couple really of guys ready on grinders, but uh, they're about to uh, move around and the uh, crew just uh, yeah, they're going to clamber now. over, getting ready for their attack. Yeah, they're just getting ready because they, they they're not quite so uh, dependent on crew weight because they've got that massive canting keel that sticks out to the windward side. The water's being churned up by the spectators into a real, real washing machine job. Esmit Europa has continued out into the middle of the Solent. I'm looking for Rand. She's still hugging that uh, mainland shore. I'm not sure about that one, I have to say. But uh, Abu Dhabi comes off the beach at Gernard. Wonderful view for everybody down there. Bellamente tacks on top of her. She's obviously got some respect for Abu Dhabi and she's treating this like an inshore race. They've got uh, about 600 and, well, how far have they gone? They've got about 609 miles to go, I should think. But uh, Abu Dhabi is obviously frightening Hapfath's uh, Bellamente crew with her speed to windward. And uh, although Bellamente seems to be standing up better to the breeze than Abu Dhabi, you think the swing keel boat with her uh, tons of lead bulb cranked out to windward would actually be standing up more to her sail, but she's not. Uh, she's healing more than Bellamente, but then on, on the other hand, she's sailing further off the wind. Further off the wind and faster. She's going way faster, and from where we are level with them, you can see Abu Dhabi is going faster. Just She's taken half a boat length out of Bellamente while I've spoken there, um, but she's not sailing quite as close to the wind. The more inshore orientated Judel and Vrolik 72 footer is uh, closer winded, but nowhere near as fast as Ian Walker's uh, flying Abu Dhabi. Bellamente with the uh, orange trim on the dark sails there. Abu Dhabi uh, with Abu Dhabi on the sails. And Very they true. are heading up uh, the Solent chased by uh, a flotilla of uh, little ribs. And um, helicopters <laughs> literally. I can see the shoe size on the bottom of the sole of the cameraman's feet there. Big waves. Not 290 in Korean, uh, web, uh, in Korean shoe size there. <laughs> Not Korean shoe size, that was a British. Size 44, size 10. Um, Esmit Europa is pounding out towards uh, the North Shore at the moment. They're going right down the middle of the Solent. Still hugging the bank past the Leap Shore, now past Bewley, is Ran. That's going to be a very interesting one when things come together. Because I think now they've started to gain on the others. That's a very interesting tactic. They seem to have started to gain. The girls' boat SCA uh, looks to be heading over to the mainland as well, and so do the Spanish. But to now, Abu Dhabi and Bellamente are both heading into the middle of the Solent behind Esme Europa 2. Now, Abu Dhabi got quite a heel on. You can see this very wide boat with her swing keel, that uh, wide flat stern, 
the square top mainsails that all the race boats have nowadays. And uh, I don't know why everybody has black sails nowadays. It's obviously very popular. Ezimit is a Slovenian, not a Slovakian project. Slovenia, Sorry about that, yes. Slovenian. Yeah, uh, we've, we've said Slovenia. Sure, Slovenia. So I said Slovakian. Yeah. So I apologise. Oh, but thanks, thanks very much to uh, Primoz for your uh, email there. Happy to correct it. It's Slovenian, and uh, off they go they towards were, the needles. They're doing a whole circuit of Europe. They're sailing all the big races in that boat, and uh, going for line honours in everything. Okay. Ian Walker's boat is just flying, it really is. It's spray coming off the bow in a fire hose. The crew wedged up on the uh, deck, Ian, I think it's Ian at the helm. But, uh, one rudder, they have twin rudders on these boats, and one rudder well clear of the water, just skimming a feather of spray off it every now and then, the orange painted rudders, and that uh, arched deck. Almost, there's no real cabin on that boat at all. The deck just bulges up behind the mast and gives virtually no shelter. We're just going past Leap Boy, which is clanging away next to us. There's a pal girl on uh, SCA there, the uh, pink uh, boat heading off on uh, its race. And bad news for the Royal Navy. Um, apparently, uh, uh, Dasher was hit on the port side by a cruiser. Very bad damage, and Dasher's had to retire and is being uh, towed in. Oh, that is a shame. Oh, the old Nick 55. Well, I guess you might see uh, you might see her, but uh, no such problems for SCA, the all-girl crew on that uh, Swedish boat heading off on uh, their race. Uh, they're going well. ICAP Leopard has tacked back towards uh, Esbit Europa. Now, has we, uh, ICAP Leopard took a bit of time to wind up to speed, but she certainly seems to be doing it now. She's behind Esbit Europa. But uh, where she was dropping back, she seems to be level pegging with her now. Esmit Europa 2 just tacks that uh, blue jib, just flaps lazily half a dozen times as it uh, goes through the wind. I'm just going to uh, have a look and see what the apparent wind speed is. Because um, the interesting thing is that we're travelling quite fast. And the apparent wind speed uh, is, a, is obviously increased, the wind speed is increased by the boat's forward motion. So in this washing machine we're looking at a good 20 knots of apparent wind speed. So that's a good full sail breeze for these boats. Um, really quite a nice breeze, much stronger than we might have anticipated. But um, yeah, 20 knots in the washing machine out here. We have really all the ribs and the motor boats that are following stirring up the water. Bellamente, closest to the island of uh, the leading pack, uh, but um, two of the, uh, the Swan 60s have gone right into the island. They're going right in there. But it's uh, Esmit Europa 2 is catching up now with the boats that started in front of her in class one. The challenge boats, the challenge 72s, are trading in that fleet and they're being caught up. Bellamente tax. Lovely sight in the sunshine as the clouds just lift and a, a great ray of sunshine on Bellamente as she comes through the wind, the spray glinting off that black hull as incredibly close sheeted black sails. They really are close together. The crew scramble back up having uh, trimmed the sails. Now, this is time we see what is going to happen when Ran comes across because um, I think, where is Ran? Yeah, you know, Leopard, Icap Leopard uh, tacking now. And, uh, I think that's Ran behind her, isn't it? Yeah, and then in the... Uh... And that has, has worked. That has worked, going up the main side. I was worried to begin with, she seemed to be dropping back, but I'm pretty sure that's worked compared to Bellamente. And over near the island shore, it's uh, Esmit Europa, and then coming up uh, Bellamente on uh, Icap Leopard. And uh, Abu Dhabi just bearing away. Uh, is she going to go round, take uh, ICAP Leopard's stern? She has actually come off the wind. They obviously want to head over to that uh, mainland side because uh, Ian Walker could have tacked there, but he's decided not to. He bore away and then he comes back up right across the stern of ICAP Leopard, literally a few metres behind. And the spray from ICAP Leopard's uh, wake just splashes over the foredeck of uh, Abu Dhabi there as she takes the turn. Ian Walker obviously wants to 
get that mainland side. He's crossed ahead of uh, Ran. Ran has uh, Ran tacked back. No, she's still coming off. No, Ran's tacked back. Ran has actually tacked back for the uh, for the mainland, I think. And so she's to leeward of uh, Abu Dhabi. But Abu Dhabi is going like a proverbial train. She really is going well. Behind us, SCA doing very nicely with her pink hull, the spray flying over the girls' boat there. Behind them, it's Artemis, the uh, open 60 with her swing keel. Icap Leopard just in front of us with those uh, huge white sails over that uh, metallic blue hull. So off uh, they go on their race and uh, great stuff to see here in uh, the Solent. Fastnet Radio, of course, continuing on 87.7 FM and 87.9 FM. And we'll keep you up to date on the uh, website, but uh, as far as the live uh, streaming of the video goes, uh, I pause on that now. But lovely pictures of the start, and of course, we'll keep you up to date uh, through the uh, race here on the uh, Royal Ocean Racing Club Fastnet website.